Hi guys, my name is Taylor Green. I am one of the audiologists here at Audiology Associates. Uh, my name is Rhys Barber. I'm the other audiologist here at Audiology Associates. So coming up in this episode, guys, we have a pediatric patient with a deep, stubborn wax plug. Uh, and uh, yeah, oh, not... Oh, uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> soon as you touched it. Well, they looked at it thought, oh, it's not too bad. Because it, you never tell with that surface, whether it's mm. going to be soft, whether it's going to be rock solid, but this was rock solid. And what made it worse is you'll see in a couple of seconds, I won't, I won't do too many spoilers, but there is some dry skin in here which is holding it in, yeah. uh, which I can't spot first of all, because I'm, I'm, you can see I'm looking, probing around this, the front of this plug just to try and find anywhere I can get a little bit of purchase, a little bit of good suction grip, which is there. And I thought, oh, yeah. great, it's moving, it's going to come away. But it just didn't budge. Ugh. I know. And I was like, well, why is this not budging? Now, sometimes it's either going to be a bit of dry skin or it can be that it's, it's deep in the recess. So mm. um, with this being yeah, a jet wash out there. Stop and stay in. JCB. <laughs> uh, so using the, this is uh, one of Neil's tools. This is, this is I, 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 every time I do this, I think I'm going to have to remember the name of this tool. And I never look it up. And before that, it's a lot of uh, voiceovers. But basically, this is like the job, Neil's version of Jobson Home. And I'm just taking the, the front section over here. I was hoping I was going to kind of get above it and pull the whole oh. thing. Yeah, we've got this kind of peel on the one side. Um, and it's drawing down. You can see we're mm. pulling this away. There you go. But it, it's, it's kind of an odd consistency. It's a really kind of dry sort of wax. Yeah. And I can see the, almost see the back end, but I don't want to go that deep. Mm. I just want to take away this front section. So I'm going to get all this away. Uh, then we're going to put a little bit of olive oil in there. Let's do that in a sec. Oh, there you go. So the oil's deep. gone in. Yeah, it is so deep. And and I'm looking, you know, I just peeled that one section off the side of the canal wall. The reason I didn't use the, the, that, that sort of jobs and horn on that one is to take that off, I would have had to literally press against the canal wall. And don't forget, this is a pediatric patient. So uh, never had wax removal done before. So they were a little oh. bit nervous um, about what, anything. And when it's this deep as well, you're oh, always yeah. conscious of the sensation in the air. There's the dead skin. You could see as I yeah. lifted, see that we had a little tiny little bit of a flinch then. So I can't lift up. So what I'm going to do is use this top right corner to draw down the canal instead. Now, a common misconception of a wax removal is you've got to do it quickly. or You've got to get in and get yeah. out. And sometimes with stubborn <clears throat> plugs, the slower you do it, the better it is for the patient and mm. the better, the easier. Because sometimes you'll just hold and maintain that grip yeah. on you. And, and the pressure builds inside the suction tube just to kind of draw the, the, the wax yeah. plug onto the end. And that's what I do here. I kind of hold it. And I very, very slowly pull this down Ooh, there. there. And that's yeah, what we wanted to see was that detachment. We knew we couldn't break the skin at the bottom. And we knew we couldn't push it back further. So we had to bring that. I know, yeah. It's been stuck, jammed, stuck now, jammed on the outside <laughs> of the ear canal now. Um, every time, every time. But yeah. it's cotton buds. Yeah, yeah. Mum mm. did say that he's been using cotton buds. Well, you can uh, see that layer of dry oh, skin yeah. under there. Now, what you'll see <clears> now is we can see we've got oh, this very thin layer on the yeah. eardrum. But because the patient was so nervous, I've left that there for um, for this point. What I've said is use some olive oil, and that will soften that last little piece, and it'll come off. Mm. It would have been too risky to go in there just because we had a little bit of a flinch where I moved the plug for me to try and peel off the eardrum with a pediatric patient. Oh, that's not a good idea. No. So uh, just over an inch. So I'm going to go an inch and one eighth on that one. We uh, two, uh, just over two centimeters, two and a half centimeters, is it? Can't quite see two that. and a half. I'm going to go two with that. Yeah, we'll just say it's two That's and a half. <laughs> I know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching our video again today. Don't forget, you get two videos a day uh, moving forwards on all social media channels. Uh, for subscribers, that's Monday, Wednesday, Friday. If you're uh, actually a, a member of the channel, you'll get two on a Tuesday and a Thursday as well. Um, but as always, guys, take care of yourselves. Take care of your ears. And take care of one another. Myself and the lovely Mr. Teddy Green. We'll see you for the next video. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.